We live in a society of selfish ones. As children, we were born with selfish wants. From childhood to adulthood, we have an endless hunger for money to survive. And money is the lifeline to survival. Authors and businesses use legit murder by pro-intellectual property actions against their so-called enemies so authors and businesses can rake in the money by making their so-called enemies financially dead without positive dreams. Unforgiveness is legit because we unforgive people by charging people to death by money. I cannot believe that God allows competition in the business world to kill each other for money instead of helping each other. Did you know that the government has an endless hunger of money by demanding licensing fees, by demanding taxes, by demanding fines, by demanding bail money, and by demanding court fees? Gaining money is difficult in life. Examples of difficulties are prohibition of panhandling, denying a job, and selling without a license. Licenses require money. What a ripoff! How will unfortunate people gain money while outrageous barriers are in the way to prevent from happiness. How will emancipated children pay for their liabilities like education while emancipated children were born without any assets? After all, we all were born without assets. Why do liabilities come first before assets or before a uh, whammy according to the scamming policies in society. Life is full of gambling. I give kudos to the Atlanteans from Spongebob Squarepants for eliminating their greed of money so they can focus on knowledge. We should live like the Aladians from SpongeBob SquarePants by putting money into extinction so we can give needs freely to one another. And so we can end competition in the business world and so we can and pro-intellectual property enforcements and so we can end survival of the fittest and so we can focus on 1st Corinthians chapter 6 verses 1 to 8. Tell your legislator to put money into extinction right now.